Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog today on this beautiful Saturday in the office wrapping up a few things. And I just want to say, uh, we all talk about this book. Everyone loves this book, The 4-Hour Work Week. You know, I want to live that lifestyle, I want to travel, I want to do all these things. And in order to do that, you got to do a lot of income shifting. What people always forget to talk about in this book is Tim Ferriss worked like 80-hour weeks and built a company. And it was because the company was stressing him, so then he desired to work less. Does he even work less today? No, in order to keep his brand going, his investments and all different times, he works way more than four hours a week. But it's a good concept and even he says, I hate the title, but I want people to think differently. So look, and today I'm gonna get you to think differently is income shifting. Now people hear all the time and go, what is income shifting? I keep hearing about it. It's when you take your money from your job or money from your business and you put it in investments that pay you. Because what happens? I did a video, I'm gonna link it up here above, is where Papa John's paid me three to six months after I quit. Now everybody knows I worked at Papa John's off and on for two, three years, and everybody kept saying, why are you doing that? I'm like, one, I learned the real estate market in Austin, Texas. Two, all I kept doing is putting money away in bank certificates. Not the fastest way, bank certificates and lending club were the top two, and a few monthly dividend stocks. But what I would do is, I would put the money in the bank certificate to give me money six months from now. It was like a forced savings. And so six months later, when I didn't, I was just absolutely tired of delivering pizzas and I actually started to have some traction in my real estate, uh, real estate as a real estate agent, I was like, oh, oh, I still have money coming in every single day. Now you can start as low as $5 a day and put, you know, every day of the month, $5 comes to you, you know, three to six months from now, depending on who your bank is. And that's fine, you know, that's 150 bucks coming back every month. Or that's, you know, if you do what most people do is, you know, they live on 30 to $100 a day every month. If you can ever get enough income pushed to the side that $100 a day comes back to you in these bank certificates or in these various investments, you're great. If 3,000 is your budget or what you need to live, then you're covered. So the best part is most people, 75% to 95% of people are in this category. They're working a job. This is where their majority of their income comes from and they need to figure out what they can do for it. Five to 25% of people are in business, right? So Lending Club, the reason I put 13% here is that's what I got off my notes. I was doing kind of like, so you guys could check it out. I put uh, 10 notes in a separate category so you guys could see the returns and I had 13% returns. This is awesome. And notes start 25 bucks. So again, you're like, Erica, how much did you start at? 25 bucks, man. Imagine you had a thousand bucks. You got 40 notes. 40 notes, okay? Bank certificates. Again, I called it for savings for the future. You know, my bank, I'm lucky with many small credit unions. You could go anywhere from three months in the future to, you know, five years. It's crazy. Monthly dividend stocks. I only stay in the range of 8% to 13%. Why? Because anything higher than that, I'm concerned it's a flash in the pan, it's a, a junk company, or, you know, I try to stay with energy companies, water companies, electric companies, oil companies. Notes, RE, why did I put real, RE for real estate? Now it's gonna be, these are notes too, but I call these notes separate because you can go on websites and buy people's mortgages. I mean, you can go on Texas note desk sites. I have a ton of them on there. I've even told clients, you can go on there and buy a $70,000 note and someone's paying their $800 mortgage, and now they're paying your company. I mean, you could literally, if you had a lump sum of money and you could literally go uh, Erica's mortgage company or Erica's uh, management company, and buy notes online and when people paid their mortgage that month because they would get a bill you know they get a thing from Bank of America or whoever hey we sold your mortgage to, we sold your note your mortgage note to Erica's management now you pay Erica's management every month you're making checks out to Erica's management here so 850 I gave him seventy thousand dollars you know 850 comes back every month that's a pretty good deal depending on if I was a retiree or something like that now if they don't pay I get a house is that always great? No, because a lot of times people buy notes all over the country and really aren't interested in that, okay? So uh, again, easy way, you know, some notes are all the way down to like $5,000 left on a mortgage to like, you know, $300,000 $300, mortgages plus, right? But what the key here is monthly payments. You want monthly money coming to you. This actually happened to my mom and then actually, I was like, who sold the last 40 grand of your, your mortgage? I'm gonna go find them out. And it was just a small company, somebody with a few extra bucks, okay? Real estate, income producing. This is your fastest way. 
And a lot of times when people say they have, they're at a job, they don't like, or they're in their business and they're stressing them out because, you know, seasonal business or things are fluctuating. This is probably your fastest way income producing properties. If you get a good, I mean, anytime, you know, depending on where you're at, $1,000 to $10,000, uh, for your closing costs on houses, anywhere from 20 K to 60 K and you're going to rent them out for 800 to a thousand. You can do this just about anywhere. And everybody's like, no way. But you can. You can find many more uh, things on that. Every month getting 800 to 1000 bucks, you do just one house a year that you can manage yourself or that you get a company to manage. That's an additional you know, $10,000 every year. You just do that over and over. In 10 years, you got $100,000 coming to you, okay? Bonds, you know, business, let's say you're working your job and you're wanna like, I gotta get out of here. So don't quit your job immediately invest in your business like for real estate or um just about any business you're gonna have startup costs you have 200 300 500 dollars startup costs start there take some money out of here and put it in the business side income another thing you know if you're gonna do uber lyft airbnb all these different things you can start side income projects and just keep funneling it back into the circle the key to all these is that these things will give me money if something happens to me and i can't work I'm, I'm looking for anywhere from $3,000 to $5,000 coming to my pocket. Now, many people say, Erica's going to take me so many years to get there. It may, but it's better for you to start now and start getting that traction than to quit, right? So, hey, I know people who take $500 a month out of their uh, job income and put it to savings. $500 a month. A lot of people can't do that. The average American can't even pull out $500 for an emergency. So, you know, 76% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. This is why it's important for you to have income shifting. Put that money to use. Rich Dad Poor Dad talks about this all the time. Talks about it all the time. Again, he says, here's your job, you know, um, your pay and your expenses. He does this all the time. He's like, what are you putting your money to? Put it to assets here. This is the assets box. If you know anything about Rich Dad Poor Dad, you know what I'm talking about. And let the assets pay your expenses. And just keep doing it over and over again until you have this buku of money coming in every month. If you get to the point where you have 10 houses and you're making 100,000 a year, no matter what your job is, you still have these houses continue to pay. If you fall, you break your knee, a car accident, your wife gets pregnant, you have this side income. And it's very simple if you start young, you start early. I have many friends who bought their first house right out of college, then they're on their fourth or fifth house. And they just, cause people move. People stay in apartments sometimes five, eight years. Some people move every single year. Imagine if you bought a house every single year. Some people are putting a thousand to $2,000 down on an apartment saying they could buy a small house. It's just the truth. So income shifting, it's important. You wanna live like four hour work week? That's your start. Everybody, this is Erica. Classy Climb blog. Have a great day.